If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the brand new veterans and some updates that are live today in the game. Now, guys, veterans, like I said last year, were an unexciting word to hear. When you heard the word veterans, you pretty much thought, Oh god, it's a waste. It's a waste of damn. I'm gonna log on. Veterans this year though have been actually really, really good. They've been much better. They've put a lot more effort into these cards and a lot more thought into them, which I do like. For instance, Cordell Patterson is one of the veterans today. He's having a great like, let's just say resurgence, right? Because he's been he's 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 been a journeyman forever. Always been like a gadgety player. But this year they're giving him more of a role. And he's actually been performing, so it's like a nice veteran card to get a guy like you, you forgot that he's been around, but he's been there, and he can still be useful. And they gave him good stats. You can actually go ahead and use him. And before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always, guys. And of course, if you guys want to go pick up any of the veterans players, typically I recommend buying them. But if you don't want to go ahead and buy them, you can always use the training reroll, which I don't actually recommend. Now, if you guys see here, you guys see there's the uh, the week four team of the week early bird, 24 hour special still going live. If you guys don't want to go do that, if you do this, you do get an 81 to 88 overall player from week four, and you get your choice of one of them. So go ahead and pretty much just complete the set. Well help complete the sets five bucks really like 450 if you have your access so just take that as you will let's head on over let's go check out some of the veterans let's go check out what we have in store what is live what is useful right now what can we actually use and add to a regular roster because that's kind of what you're looking at when you see these veterans and flashbacks you kind of look at them you're like what's theme team based what's just filler and what actually could be added to a you know a roster what could what player could make an actual team right that's kind of what we're looking for so we got ryan fitzpatrick uh, right here is the quarterback that was released today for the Washington football team. Now, guys, one of the benefits of Ryan Fitzpatrick is that he does have nine teams, I believe, that he can be equipped to. So he's going to be one of the best theme team quarterbacks in the game right now, more than likely. Not like, again, if you have a team with, like, the best quarterback, like Rodgers, like, obviously you're not using him over him, which he wasn't on the Packers anyways, but at least I don't think. Who knows with him? But point is, if you're running a theme team right now, like Washington football team, Ryan Fitzpatrick may be one of the best options. Jets, he may be one of the best options. Dolphins got Marino, but like my point is, if you can't afford a Marino Diamond Master, Ryan Fitzpatrick could make a lot of theme teams and really be serviceable, although I believe he does not get Hot Rod Master, which does kind of suck. But 78 speed is good, good enough. He has 90 throw power, 87 short, 90 medium, 87 deep, 87 throw under pressure, 88 throw on the run, 84 play action. And he gets some other stuff. 75 agility is decent, 80 jumping, 80 carrying, 78 trucking is actually not horrible. It's kind of funny they gave him the 80 break sack. But yeah, overall, guys, if you guys are running any kind of theme team and you don't have a quarterback, I know there's some teams that have no quarterbacks, right? Like not one really serviceable one. And you just take a look because Ryan Fitzpatrick may have played for that team. So he could be useful in a lot of different scenarios. Next, we have Robert Quinn, outside linebacker. Uh, he's on the Bears in this one right here. Now, Robert Quinn, 85 speed, 89 excel is really, really good, actually. That is not a bad card at all. That's good speed for an outside linebacker. And he gets 88 strength, 88 tackle, 87 play rec, 90 block shot, 90 power move, guys. This is one of the best outside linebackers in the game. Now, in terms of best, what I mean by that is that he's all threshold with speed. So when you're all threshold speed, you're going to be good. Like, they dropped a lot, a lot of linebackers this year that have had 85 speed and stuff, but only one power move or block shot above 90, or they're both high 80. He's a double threshold block shot and power move guy at six foot four with good strength, good tackle, and great speed and excel. Honestly, guys, if I was you guys, Robert Quinn would not be a bad budgety option at the outside linebacker spot. Not budgety, but he's going to be cheaper than any of the meta ones, right? Which isn't bad at all. The only thing I have concerns about, honestly, with Robert Quinn would just be, you know, it's it's a veteran card. It's an, and it's not exciting to start a veteran card half the time. I understand that. But for the price and the stats, Robert Quinn is not bad. And will he be replaced in the near future? Possibly. But that's fine because veteran cards have this decent 80 to 150k value that like they just stay within. So you can always just sell them back. And really not a much of a problem with that. Next, we have Corderell Patterson for halfback for the Falcons. Now, a lot of people were hoping that he did get a secondary position of wide receiver. So you could play him at wide receiver, which would have been pretty cool. But he does not get a secondary position there. So he will be a running back primarily. Although you could put him at wide receiver, I believe. But he's going to be mainly a running back. Now, he gets 91 speed, which is actually really good. 90 excel, 90 agility, 80 carrying, 82 catching, 88 change of direction, 76 trucking, 88 break tackle. Though, again, he's pretty, he, he looks like what he is, right? A wide receiver at running back. He, he has good catching, he has good break tackle, good change of direction, low truck and low power, but 92 speed powered up, which is really good, 90 agility, he gets high jumping, 88, powered up, 
90 ball carry vision, 90 juke. This card's going to be really good. Even as a third down back, he's probably one of the best third down backs in the game, especially for the price. He's not bad. If you guys need a receiving back that can come out of the backfield and run some routes for you, it's pretty good. Now, I wish his medium route running and deep route running were a bit better, considering he's actually a wide receiver. Had they given him, like, you know, high 80 or even low 90 medium route running or something like that, that would have been pretty crazy. Or at least all in the 80s, right? A quarter off Patterson, another good card today. So far, all these cards have been pretty good. I mean, Fitzpatrick's probably the worst of the bunch, and he's really not even bad. He does have some uses. Next, we have Jared Cook, who's another really good one. If you guys know Jared Cook, he's been around Madden forever. He's always had those low key, like, great speed cards. He has an 89 speed here, which is pretty crazy. Powered up, he'll have a 90 speed at tight end for a veteran card. That's pretty unheard of if you guys have been playing Madden for the last few years. You know, veterans have not been given this love quite ever. 88 catching, 88 catching traffic, 90 spec, 86 short, 88 medium. Now, the only caveat, a caveat I have with jared cook would be that he does not get the 90 medium route running although if you have a strat card on him and you do power him up he will get it but that's about the only problem i do have with this jared cook card is that he's not going to get the medium route running 90 threshold but other than that he gets 90 speed kind of like if you if okay if you this is like a great example if you run pits you could replace him with jared cook because pits doesn't get the route running threshold either but he's faster than pits by a decent amount and he can catch much better right behind the card he has 81 agility which is really good 90 stiff arm 87 juke 88 spin he's great with the ball in his hands he's he's a much better he's an upgrade over pits that's that's what it comes down to if you have pits on the team you can easily replace him with jared cook and feel pretty okay about it and then guys we do have the jason mccorney quarterback as the last one now he's actually again another good card 91 speed at cornerback once you see 91 speed you know he gets 92 speed that's a good speed that's a usable speed right and moving on from there you do go ahead and see that he's 90 excel which is really good 91 agility which is really good 88 jumping is good 87 player 92 man 88 zone 85 press again if you power him up and you put a strat card like a lockdown track uh track card on him he will get 90 zone threshold 90 man threshold at 93 and a 92 speed not to mention he's 5 foot 11 which isn't horrible he's 75 catching 91 change of directions really good as well he also goes ahead he gets 70 block shed and 67 hit power which again serviceable it's not like a typical it's like a deon sanders card or one of those soft corners that are really tiny with the 50 block shed and the 50 hit power he has a little little bit of a little bit of grit to him in the run game and you know making some hits here so he's not bad at all he's actually another really good card now who of these guys are serviceable right who can make an actual squad in my opinion obviously robert quinn can make a squad like a, like a good squad or robert quinn can make a squad mccordy could be probably nickel corner and i think jared cook can easily be your starting tight end if not your backup because not everyone can afford waller not everyone's level 50 to get kittle i think j i think um jared cook could easily start for a lot of teams and if not just be the backup and that's a guy like, if you run a mesh play right and you have kittle or waller going out you run him on the drag all day and you just that'll be your check down he has good change of direction good juke he can turn it up field to make a play and then as we move on down guys if i had to rank him I would say in last place, probably Ryan Fitzpatrick, just because it's a quarterback and there's so many good quarterbacks in this game. Uh, coming in fourth, I'd probably put Cordero Patterson. Now he's good, but obviously we're not starting Cordero Patterson over any of the halfbacks in the game because of weight and everything. The reason you would play on next gen, right? Had he been able to be a wide receiver, maybe been up a little bit more. I think in third, you probably put McCourtney or McCourty because at the end of the day, he's good. But there's a lot of good cornerbacks as well and i think number two you easily go with jared cook and one robert quinn robert quinn's a all threshold speedy outside pass rushing linebacker right? you can't you can't dispute that he's good and then jared cook would have if jared cook had 90 medium running he may have been even higher than uh than quinn but he's good but guys that's about it for the video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you need the channel hit that subscribe button turn the notification bell give this video a big thumbs up as always thank you for watching i'm out peace